Hello everyone, my name is William, aka The Swedish Polyglot, and on this channel I talk about linguistics, psychology, and philosophy. In this particular video, I will be uh, covering the basics of meta-learning, um, which is an idea that I talk about a lot on this channel. And so I will divide the video into three parts. I will start by basically defining what is meta-learning, and then I will talk about why we should uh, focus on meta-learning and why we should improve our meta-learning and then finally I will cover some basic principles um, sort of uh, of, of meta-learning basically um, I won't go into um, depth on these principles in this particular video I'll try to keep it short so in the next video I will cover these principles in more depth okay so starting with what is meta-learning so the word meta, or the prefix meta, comes from Greek, and it refers to, if you have meta in front of a word, it means that the preceding part sort of refers back to itself. So for example, meta learning would be learning about learning. Uh, but I would also say that meta also refers to something underlying. So you could say that meta learning uh, has to do with an underlying understanding of the learning process. Um, and then, so that's basically what meta-learning is, just getting better at learning, learning how to learn. Uh, making the process of learning more effective, more efficient, more enjoyable, and so on. And so, uh, why should we focus on meta-learning? Why should we improve our meta-learning? And so the basic idea, so I will use language learning as an example, because I talk a lot about language learning on this channel, and it's my primary hobby. Um, and so if you imagine, uh, if we're talking about language learning here, so I will, I will put a picture here, uh, but basically uh, you could imagine a formula. So uh, the results in your language learning could be viewed as uh, your level of meta-learning times your activity in your target language, and that would equal your res results. And so your level of meta-learning will basically determine the quality of, of the activities that you engage in, right? It will determine how effective um, the activities that you engage in are because if you understand meta learning you'll understand better which activities I should select and how to design these activities as to maximize effectiveness efficiency um, how compelling these activities are etc etc so that will determine the quality of your activity um, so um, right so on this chart um, that I will show you you'll see that if let's say you're a beginner in language learning uh, So to explain the formula here, so your meta learning in this particular model uh, This could be changed in the future if, if I come up with a better way of explaining this, but uh, If the maximum value of your meta learning is is one then imagine as a beginner, maybe typically you might have uh, 0.33 that that's like your level of meta learning um, then sort of the your results if you look at the chart here like the area of the triangle that, that will be your, res your results as a beginner because your meta learning so the, the, if you keep your activity constant as a beginner this will be sort of your results uh, per time invested but as you improve your meta learning for each hour you invest uh, you will gain a greater return on investment uh, on that time spent because the quality of those activities will be higher because you understand the underlying learning process and the, and so as you improve your meta learning over time you could reach the, uh, the hypothetical max which would be one in this case and if you have one you can see on the chart here that will sort of be the maximum amount of return on investment you could get per hour of activity basically now this is a theoretical model so it's a bit simplified and maybe you could come up with a better formula but that's just to illustrate the case that um, if you improve your meta learning your return on investment per time invested in the learning process will uh, be greater uh, basically but um, um, I'll show you another picture here and this shows you that uh, in the case of language learning at least uh, even if you max out your meta learning uh, capacity or abilities you're still gonna, gonna need lots of activity in order to acquire your target language so it's not just about uh, working smarter i.e. improving your meta learning it's also about actually doing hard work or improving 
sort of the quantity of activity that you put in. Uh, but that, that can also be improved through meta learning. Actually, you can learn how to how to uh, get more activity in by understanding how to make some behaviors more likely, for example, if you understand the psychology behind habits, for example, or uh, stuff like that. So, mm, yeah, so th that's basically why you want to improve your meta learning. And yes, so I might divide this into two videos, but so in this video, I have defined meta learning, um, why we want to engage with meta learning. And in future videos, I will cover um, sort of pr the ba basic principles or fundamental principles of meta learning and how we uh, develop um, these principles or develop these skills related to meta learning as to make our learning process more enjoyable, more effective and more efficient. And so thank you for listening. Um, so hit the subscribe button if you're interested in uh, future videos uh, please contribute to the discussion below if you have any ideas uh, yourself about meta learning maybe uh, other reasons for why you might want to get better at it or um, if you have any problems with any models that i've put forth for example if you want to increase the nuance i guess anyway so thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video